So, uh, welcome to our episode two. But let me also recap on what we did till now. In the episode first, one. In episode one, we've talked about what is a facade. We've talked about the basics of facade. We've also talked about why a facade is necessary and what all aspects of facade do we need to consider when we are designing a building. But in this episode, we also cover the one of the most important aspects of selecting a facade or designing a facade, which is human safety. Human safety is of two aspects. One is generally you don't get hurt by glass. Second is when it comes to fire. We, we will speak about both these aspects here. Sanjit ji, would you just like to throw a little more? Basic thing is that uh, there are many people who must have observed that you accidentally hit the glass and you get an injury. And if that glass is not a safety glass, uh, the injury can be all fatal, you know. So there are uh, such cases. So the National Building Codes addressed this where it identified certain critical locations like where there are chances of a human being coming in contact or colliding the glass. There is a glass, big glass window uh, or anything in which there is a front obstacle Entrance yeah, yeah. or there is it's a window and it has a uh, you know an obstruction to somebody falling through. So we have to see if you somebody hits the glass one thing is there a chance of person human being hitting the glass other is is there a chance of uh, falling through that if the glass breaks is there a chance that the person will fall tabak, through tabak jayega, and again uh, that is uh, identified very clearly in the building codes that if on the other side the drop is more than 1.5 meter then we classify it as a there is a risk of fall if it's less than 1.5 meter there is no risk of fall if there is a sill or there is a window uh, member to where the it prevents human beings from uh, falling touching out. that, yeah. eliminates it at the first instance where there is no chance of collision. Where there is a chance of collision, then it is uh, a safety glass that has to be used. Again, of two types and depending upon uh, the situation over there, whether there is uh, uh, a risk of fall or no, it will either be a tempered uh, safety glass or it will be a laminated safety so glass. So it's a, it's a, it's now become a design element which is a known thing, right? As an architect, it's a known thing. This is not that you have to explain every time to the same clients again. This uh, is like a, we the still base have set to. Okay. The National Building Code mentions it, but that code is not a compulsory code. So many states, for example, have not adopted it. It's a state subject. So that is one problem. Uh, second is not enough of us know of it. Our building code is so big, two volumes, we don't read it. So, these things should be known to people. But uh, I, I would say, Deepak, I slightly differ with you because uh, when we started this exercise, hardly anybody was aware yeah, has changed, of what is the... Correct. Now the times have changed. Yes, absolutely. Now we get, uh, you know, uh, calls from uh, very remote small towns or uh, villages also where people say, I want to put in a glass balcony. What is the glass I should use? Correct. The question has come. Yeah. And now more and more people are aware. I must share two case studies or two you know, aspects to this. So when we started off, we were looking at some, doing some research. Ki India mein kya kya chot lagi hai, kya nahi laga hai. And one I remember very well. So Chandigarh ki kahani hai, there was this army officer who walked into a pane of glass. Mm. Uh, darwaza band tha uska. Usko dekha, dekha nahi. And he walked into it, glass toot gaya. So chot hai. But the owner said, tu paisa de mere ko. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you should be the one suing him. <laughs> so, from that, that is one example. The other is there's a famous mall in Delhi. I don't know how many of us know of it. So, they put a temple glass in the temple. The child fell. It didn't come But they went around and changed all the glass in that mall to tell yes. it. So, that's a good conscious decision. They made a mistake. They made a mistake. And they, and they fixed it. And they fixed it after, after something happened. Okay, okay. So, it's not that. There was a case, uh, I mean, not naming the place, on a prestigious golf course, the entire facade of the spider glaze facade of a very known mall, it just came down in a very high rainfall and they realized that the hardware and everything and the glasses, the deflection was not calculated. And they were extremely fortunate that when that entire facade came down, there was nobody God bless. downstairs. This episode is talking about human safety. We're not talking about intrinsic elements of how you attain that safety. We're giving examples of whatever things have happened. And that is where if somebody was more conscious when it was under design and process, 
अगेन पता होता तो शायद पता होता तो होता शायद हो सकता है नहीं पता था वेरी सिंपल थिंग हाँ करेक्ट द मोस्ट कॉमन थिंग इज देर इज अ ग्लास पार्टीशन और अ डोर एंड पीपल डोंट रियलाइज दैट इट इज अ ग्लास एंड वो बम्प इन टू इट एंड दे गेट हर्ट एंड द सिंपलेस्ट थिंग फॉर दैट इज जस्ट पुटिंग ए मैनिफेस्टेशन एंड इवन दी बिल्डिंग कोर्ट इज स्पेसिफाइड what should be the minimum width of the band that you should provide correct what is the minimum distance from uh, uh, the Ground floor high level and uh, what is the highest position of yeah. that uh, band it's just question is just putting a tape out there so that you are making people aware of the presence of glass over there so let's, let's get, switch it to yeah. to shobita yeah. to talk about what udma has been doing and we made several standards for yes so as sir is talking about wind load so recently i mean into 2024 Uh, the performance test has been approved by BIS, and recently in Hyderabad we had our uh, session. session on wind load where we live. Uh, I mean, we showed it live uh, how these things impact and what should be an ideal wind load which could pass all these tests. Because wind load is very important factor which we don't consider much, and it will depend on what's the location, geographical location. For example, in Chennai it will be more, in North it's lesser, and then it will be also depending on the height of the building. the more uh, floor number of floors that will be going up the pressure would be increasing so the durability of the window should be more as we uh, are going up so that so how what. do we select the thickness of the glass this is one question i get asked me phone karke bolenge 6 mm laga de 4 mm laga de so, so i don't know uh, how to answer that there there are standard tables as far as annual glass is concerned but let's say we are talking about wind loads so wherever the wind loads come in mostly it is to be tempered glass so even if it is laminated so tempered have, versus laminated kya farak fundamental farak kya hai dekhi tempered glass is very strong it will number one it will not break easily it is four times stronger than normal glass and if it breaks it will break into small fragments chote particles and none of those fragments are you will know hurt you. Uh, big enough to cause a substantial injury right whereas laminated glass is a, a sandwich of two glasses With a plastic stretchable film, which is polyvinyl isobutylene (PVB), uh, which is in between the two glasses, so that the glass, even if it breaks, it is not going to fall from its fixing. It will stay in place. And the most common example you see is in the cars that you automobiles, use. Automobiles. Yeah. Your windshield is laminated. laminated. Front windshield or rear windshield? Front, rear is tempered. Okay. Uh, can Still. be tempered. Can be laminated, but. Essentially, uh, the front windshield has to be uh, laminated. So I was just saying, for example, the thickness the, of the glass is again something that the window manufacturers, if we tell them at the right location, then then they will advise. Yeah. In this Mostly case. it yeah. is the window maker. Shobita has to advise on mm -hmm. this is the thickness. Right thickness. And she, what, depending upon what type of uh, glass that it you use, it will depend on the type of the glass as well as the size of the window. Correct. Uh -huh. And the aspect ratio. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the aspect ratio. Can you define what is aspect ratio? Just for clarity. Ratio between height and width. between height and width. Okay. Yeah. So I think we are going. I mean, not more than ten feet. We should not go. If we are going beyond that, because the firstly there is a chance of deflection, especially when the uh, window is at higher height. So the chances of deflection are there. And secondly, there is a lot of problem in the transportation also. The glass could break during the transportation. Thirdly. Many times it happens that we give a bigger window, but at the end during the installation time, you see that you can't take that window to that level, right? So, uh, considering all these things, we have to plan the size of the glass. Ideally, we don't advise to go beyond 10 feet. That is the thing. Wind pressure का जो आपने बात की, wind pressure को best sustain करता है tempered glass. Tempered or toughened is the same, same thing. thing. Some people call it toughened glass. One is an American name, other is an English name. So. What happens is that if you will calculate uh, that what is the wind be uh, load or bearing capacity, let's say of a six millimeter glass, you will find that it can even fit into a ten feet glass without a problem. Yeah, yeah. But what happens is, in extreme wind conditions, the deflection is so much so, that in the case uh, the glass whole glass itself may come out of the window. So I must share this also again. Very interesting experience. C P me, जहाँ पे Delhi Metro का हनुमान मंदिर के पास में देर इज दैट बिल्डिंग जहाँ पे यू कैन कैच दी मेट्रो देयर और ऊपर बैंक है सो देव गॉट दिस दी होल द बिल्डर है इंस्टॉल दिस लार्ज पेंस ऑफ ग्लासेज सिंग वर्टिकल सीधे 
ठीक है और वो फोन आया मेरे पास सब डरते हैं अंदर लोग हवा चलती है तो ग्लास यूज टू गो लाइक तो तीन तीन नीचे ऊपर नीचे बिल्कुल हिलता था करके